friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with pseudo exfoliation we know that when cataract is associated with pseudo exfoliation there may be weak jonule and there may be raised intraocular pressure the patient may have open angle glaucoma let us observe this totally unedited recording this is the main incision after a thorough irrigation of the ocular surface this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision the side ports are about 3 clock hours away from the main incision so that the astigmatism induced by the main incision can be neutralized to some extent by the side ports an air bubble has been injected and beneath this air bubble tripanblue dye has been applied over the anterior capsule and there is uniform staining of the anterior capsule and we can see the pseudo exfoliation material also has been stained and now the anterior chamber is filled up with viscoelastic substance in this case we are going to use 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose here it goes and now we are going to do capsulorexis this cataract is quite hard nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4 so we need to do a large rexis so with the ureter forceps I scratch onto the anterior capsule raise a capsular tag this capsular tag is guided anti clockwise all around to get an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 to 6 mm and now hydro dissection is done in this case when i did capsular rexis there there was no wrinkling of the anterior capsule which indicates that the jonule is quite healthy in this case viscoelastic substance is injected after hydro dissection and now is the time to divide this nucleus into some pieces some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the hand piece is turned to make the bevel up towards the cornea the nucleus is pushed little down the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus it goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator the chopper is used to crack the nucleus into two hemineuclei in this case the nucleus has been completely separated into two hemineuclei and one hemineuclius has been nicely subdivided into two large pieces each large piece is emulsified if necessary it is again divided into smaller pieces and now i bring the other hemineuclius in front of the fecal needle it is also divided into two pieces and then on nuclear pieces managed in this way yes one nuclear piece is again subdivided into two smaller pieces and this is the last chunk of nucleus it is subdivided into smaller pieces and during emulsification of the last fragment the parameters are reduced so far the ultrasonic energy was 85% fluoride was 45 vacuum was 450 mm of mercury during emulsification of the last piece vacuum was 250 and fluoride 25 yes the nucleus has been nicely managed now some visco is injected into the anterior chamber and a 23 gauze simco cannula is being used to remove the cortex 
in this case I find that the journal is healthy and the there is no sign of journular dialysis at any place. Yes, all the cortex has been removed and now hydroimplantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is to be done. This is polishing of the posterior capsule and now we are going to use a B cartridge. So, the main wound, wound is enlarged to some extent and then the intraocular lens is implanted keeping the antechamber formed by irrigation. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and the lens has gone into the capsular bag. The lens is opening up slowly. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions. And finally, anterior chamber lavage is carried out using Simco and balanced salt solution. The lens is nicely centered, the lens has opened off nicely, the antechamber is formed nicely, integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of mox is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention, hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. This is a totally unedited recording. And we have completed the surgery in just 7 minutes. But be safe always. Before you become swift, always look at the safety of the movements that you are going to 